everyone, my name is Shauna and welcome to another figure unboxing. Today we've got the Chizuru Mizahara from Good Smile Company. If you've been on my channel or around my channel or seen my videos before, you may have noticed I have acquired three other, four other, <laughs> three other full 1-7 scale Chizuru Mizahara figures. And so far, none of them have been particularly great. So here's hoping Good Smile can pull it off and give us a nice, good Chizuru figure. Pretty standard packaging as per usual with a classic instruction manual as if you couldn't figure it out for yourself. Watch me not be able to figure it out in five seconds. <laughs> We're starting with the base. Very nice and clean looking. Pretty cute little pattern, reminiscent of the manga. Got that kind of similar style and stuff going. I like it. Lots, <laughs> lots and lots of protection as they do a good smile. Get her on the base. Not too difficult. And the bag fell off to the side, but Let's take a closer look at it real quick. Very cute, very straightforward, but looks good nonetheless. And it looks like she's even got a small indentation in her arm for it, which is interesting. We'll see how it looks with the bag in that spot. I bumped the camera. It's on the wrong way. Yeah, I need those instructions. Wait, no, it's not. <laughs> Wait, this is confusing. Dang it. I was right. <laughs> he needs the instructions after all. It says to do it like this. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, it still doesn't make much sense. Okay. Okay. All right, it looks like it's a good connection, so there's none of that gap remaining. As expected, a good smile, and come on, I didn't doubt them for a second. Let's cut to a better angle and take a closer look. Got the face, obviously, for me, it's like one of the most important parts. And I've got to admit, feels a little off. The mouth is throwing me a little, and maybe the nose too. From like, from this angle right here though, it looks really good. <laughs> it does, and when you start pulling on it, pull, what? <laughs> the mouth is definitely throwing me off. I think it's because, actually I know why. You see how it's, very, very red. It almost makes it look like she has lipstick on, but then that makes her lips even smaller. So it kind of, tr at least it tricks my eye a little bit to where it's like, it looks like she's wearing lipstick, but she's not because that's clearly the inside of her mouth. So it, like, if you look there, her mouth looks really big, but when you look there, it makes it look very, very small. I would have actually tried to give her lipstick. Maybe that would have been too hard and made her mouth a very, a lot more fainter color, like a lighter pink to help create a separation there. Just my opinion, my preference. Maybe it doesn't bother you. Otherwise though, face is really well done. One thing I will say right away is the skin color is done really well. So far, all three of the other ones have had really weird skin colors. Is this a one seven scale? Hold on a second. Is this 1 8 scale? <laughs> no, it says 1 7. Why is she so small? <laughs> Anyways, as you can see here, this is this was the first one that ever came out of her. As you can see from her skin color, it looks like she's deathly pale. Like she is a freaking ghost. So this one is a very pretty good figure too overall, but like her mouth's a little weird too. But her skin color was the most off-putting. So they definitely got her right with the skin regard she's not a ghost anymore <laughs> she's no longer dead but otherwise yeah the eyes are good hair is good too again unlike this one where her hair is just the very tips are the gradient to the red which to me is like the most signature part of her hair besides the styling of the braid behind the back is the gradient into the darker lighter red so they did that really well here too down to her clothes. I really like the outfit she has and they did very well on molding that pullover. I don't know what you'd call it. It's just like 
Is it knit? Would you call that a knit? Like a knitted pullover? Looks very good and believable. The back starts to get a little messy in there, like, <laughs> but you don't really see that side of it. The most important part being like these the sides here, which to me look really good and believable. And the dress itself also looks very good and believable. The wind, there's clearly some sort of wind going on here, which also looks very good too. And she's got a couple of bracelets on this arm. Legs and shoes look pretty dang good. Good separation in the toes there. With the lightest bit of nail polish, looks good. Not just this mesh of like, feet that they can sometimes look like. Little flowers look good too. I'm very happy with the overall sculpting and design of this figure. First impressions are pretty dang good. The mouth, like I said, is a little off-putting, but if I have her on my shelf for like a week, it won't even bother me. I guarantee it, even from far away, looks great. <laughs> Definitely passes the one foot away test. Definitely the best Chizuru figure we've gotten so far. So, as just want to say this too though they do say on the box that this is a 1 7 scale figure so she definitely deserves a size comparison because looking at her in my opinion she's either non-scaled or 1 8 scaled but <laughs> she is tiny compared to all my other 1 7 scale figures but she still looks really really, really good since this is just the unboxing, we're not going to go into too much detail and comparing her with all the other versions of herself, but hopefully from just this view, you can kind of compare them all yourself, see which one you like the most. Some of them might not be available anymore, but I imagine they are at least in a pre-owned form on AmiAmi. Definitely to me, she stands out the most and she is probably, mm, I yeah, she is my favorite of the five I have right now. You'd think this is my favorite character out of any anime ever, but she's not. <laughs> she just so happens to be the most famous character, I guess, that I personally like the most. So she gets lots of figures. So yeah, definitely the character who gets the most figures out of all the characters I like in anime. But she's definitely not my favorite character. <laughs> Far from it. I will say that if she was as good as her when I first got her, none of these other figures of her would have been purchased to begin with. So that is another part of it, is I have not been happy with any of the f other four as I've been getting them. Here are my most recent reviews and unboxings for another size comparison because I really am surprised at just how small she is for being advertised as a 1-7 scale figure.